What's up YouTube? And this is Laser452 here and I got a LG V20 sitting right here in front of me. As you guys saw in the last video, I do I got this phone from a friend of mine and I am going to show you guys that this phone is on 15A. And I'm going to prove it to you guys that it is downgradable. So let's go ahead and get started. These are the tools you're going to need. You're going to need uppercut and you're also going to need the LG Up, which I have no idea where the hell that I just put it. So <laughs> I'm gonna have to find it. Although I already have it installed, but I'm gonna show you what the files look like and show you how to get it installed. Everything. This is the same LG Up tool that I used for my V10 and I never changed it or anything like that and when I used Uppercut on here I was able to downgrade my uh, V20. So now we got a V20 with the latest uh, firmware and we're going to go ahead and start doing that. So let's get started. Alright so I'm in my hard drive here. I could have sworn, oh yeah it's because it's in my V10 folder. Durr. You're going to need to install two of these files. To let you know, you'll get the uppercut and the LG up tool here. And there's also an extra file that I have. Um, I do not know if it will require it. It shouldn't. But um, I'm going to show you guys my setup. If you guys do have a fail, then there will be a link in the video description. Um, I believe they're going to have you install these two files here. You just run the install version and then the DLL version. And then if it doesn't come with a common folder, there is a DLL file in there. Um, you can just go ahead and if it doesn't come with it, I'll provide a link to it. Uh, but I don't know if it is even worth getting it or not. But after you get it, you just copy the folder, go to program files. Uh, x86 I think yeah LG electronics LG up and then you just throw it underneath the model uh, folder here apparently mine just disappeared which I think that's pretty much normal I think this was it right here but I try running it and realize I have the wrong firmware for the phone good thing it stopped it before anything could be broken so after you get all of those files there we're going to grab our uppercut and before you guys even launch this tool, disable your antivirus, disable Windows Defender, because they will take that file down because it thinks it's a threat to your machine. My Windows Defender is disabled, just go to your control panel uh, with Windows 8 and just right click and then click on control panel or just tap on the start menu and look for it from there. Me, I have a modified version of Windows. I not really modified, but uh, it has a Windows 7 start menu. I just go to the control panel from there. So once you go into the Windows Defender, just make sure you have it turned off. You just make sure there ain't nothing where Windows Defender will scan your files, blah, blah, blah. Always have mine turned off. I don't like Windows Defender. It sucks to me. Same thing with the antivirus. Disable it. Tell it to restart. Uh, tell it to activate uh, after a system restart. So after you guys do that, you go over here to your uppercut. And you go ahead and go run it. And before you do, we'll grab this phone here and uh, we're going to power off the V20. We're going to put it in download mode. So, all you got to do is hold down the volume up button while you have the volume up button held down. Grab your USB cord. Sorry that I only have two hands here. Uh, you just plug in the V20 and then just keep holding on to the up button until you start seeing the download mode. So when it gets to that mode right there, you're about ready. Now there's a step that I did forget <laughs> and you guys will probably have problems with the LG up tool. But you guys can do it in two ways. Since I got the phone on download mode, uh, I meant to mention that you need to install the driver as well if you haven't already. I have the driver, that's not it. I have the driver right here. Just install it. And if it doesn't work while your phone's in download mode, 
just restart your phone, install it, and then put the phone back in download mode. Alright, so now we're going to go to Uppercut and we're going to run it. Now, as you guys saw earlier, the phone it was on uh, 15A, and I don't know why it's showing VS995 13A on here. I'm guessing it's to trick the program, I guess. That's what, that's what with uh, Uppercut is for. So right here, we're going to go ahead and start this. But first, I'm going to show you. I'm just showing you that I'm about to read this phone. So all you got to do is hit on the Upgrade. Click on this area here where it says file path, click on the dotted lines, go to where you have the 13A uh, KDC file at, open it, and like I said, make sure it's set to upgrade and go ahead and start. Why upgrade? Because if you try to refurbish, it's not going to work, it will fail. So you have to do an upgrade, then a factory reset followed. So we're going to start this now. As you can see, it sees the phone. So whenever it's done, I will get back with you guys and I will show you guys that you got to do a factory reset and then you'll see it that is on 13A. All right, so the phone just rebooted. Alright, so you're going to get the phone coming in in here, but you're going also going to get that annoying app crashes and stuff like that. And what we're going to do is we are going to factory reset this phone. You can do it in two ways. You can do it from the soft reset, or you can do a hard. Uh, I'll probably recommend a hard reset, so... Well, I'm in here anyway, so it doesn't really matter, so... Um, try to remember where it's at. Okay, so I was wrong. It was back up and reset. Don't care. Delay. Close. Come on. Uh, you go to back up reset. If this doesn't work, then you can just go into, uh, you can just go ahead and do the hard reset. Uh, go ahead and reset phone. We're going to tell it delete all. And you guys can see the phone is booting up. There is your 13A. That's how you guys downgrade a V20. So I hope this video helped you guys out. There's all the tools right there. Links are provided down below in the description of this video. And the next video is a root on this phone. So I hope this really helped you guys out. Thank you for watching. Slap that thumbs up button. Dislike it if you hate this phone. And then subscribe to this channel if you want to see.